Jackson, and today me and Aaron will be doing Military Rats by Aaron Hardy and Jocelyn Jefferson. Um, on slide two will be the table of contents, which what is a military brass band and why do they exist will be on slide three. What instruments were in military brass bands in the Civil War era will be on slide four. What does military brass band provide for jazz music musicians will be on slide five. Who is Krumpa? Who were Krumpa's influences and where were they from? How did military brass bands influence Krumpa? And those will be on slide six. What happened to in the instruments left over from the Civil War will be slide seven. Who is John Philip Sousa will be um, eight, along with examples of John Philip Sousa's work. And what did Jelly Roll Morton do to Sousa's marches, and how did this affect the New Orleans sound be on slide nine? The connections are on slide 10, and the ending slide's on 11. And slide three. Um, what is a military brass band and <coughs> why do they exist? A military brass band is a group of people that performs musical duties for military functions. Military brass military bands is mostly wind and percussion instruments, following the development of instruments such as saxhorn, family of brass instruments. Ever since the Revolutionary War ended in 1781, American American military brass band marched to the fast tempo of French owing to their fast march marching pace as compared to the slow marching pace of British bands. Slide four. Mm -hmm. The instruments, what instruments were in military brass bands of the Civil War? 19th century bands included oboes, clarinets, bassoons, and drums as brass instruments of, of the time were limited to notes of the overtone series with innovations made made in the early part of the 19th century brass cross between saxophone and bongo. Slide five. What is a military brass band? What does military brass band provide for jazz musicians? Some of the first jazz icons, trumpeter Louis, Louis, Ar Louis Armstrong and cornetist Bette Beiderbecke were born in 1901 and 1903. Both began their careers in marching bands. They were, the mo they were most likely exposed to ragtime music, a, ble a bleeding of blues. John Philip Sousa liked marches in the complex centuries, old dance called the Quad Real, on real. Pianist Jelly Roll Morton helped bring the style into a limelight by performing very artistic and partly improvising rag, improvised rags. The Sparkles in New Orleans. Soon, ragtime music by Morton Scott. Joplin and others were circulated across the country off country by sheet music publishers such as W.C. Handy, who was also a composer and band leader. However, around this period, sheet music began to lose its super super artery in the spread of musical culture with the development of the pian piano rolls and phonograph record. Slide six. Who is Krumpa? Who were Krumpa's influences and where were they from and how military brass bands influenced Krumpa. His parents were very religious and groomed him for priesthood. He spent his grammar school days at various bias uh, schools and upon graduation went to St. Joseph College for a brief year. Being drive to drum was too strong and he gave up his idea of becoming a priest. In 1921, while still in grammar school, Gene joined his first band in 1925. Under advice from others, he decided to join a mus musician union. The guy said, make, it, make a roll, that's it, give us 50 bucks, you're in. Crumpa started, to, started his first legit playing with Joe Joe Kaser, Thema Terry, and Benson Orchestra, among 
the other chemical bands. Gene was able to hone and develop his style playing with other jazz players such as Mez Mesro, Tommy Dor Dorsey, and Big Spiderbeck and Betty Goodman. And these local drives. Crumpus, the big influences during this time were Toby Hall and Z Zati Sing Singleton. The drummer who probably was the greatest influence on Jim in this period was Great Baby Dodd. Dodd <coughs> was the press role and high, highly influenced in Gene's playing, especially during his tenure with Benny Goodman. Slide seven. What happened to the instruments left over from the Civil War? Each shadow has particular favorite tunes. While some music was enjoyed by Northerns and Southerns alike, this exemplified by United States President Abraham Lincoln loved loves Lincoln's love of Dixie, the unofficial anthems of the Confederacy. To this day, many songs were sung by the Patriot Pate. Peace is required, and war music, the war music, music, war's music also inspired music art artists such as Leonard Skinner and Elvis Presley. Side eight: Who is John Philip Sousa, and what are examples of his work? John Philip Sousa, the Marching King, the music of this beloved band leader and composer, whose most Prolific during the straddle of the turn of twentieth the twentieth century, continues to fill hearts in, with the wave of nat national pride and patriotism. Susan says the Stars and Stripes Forever is in fact the national march, and is created creative medium and marching band. It has become an American industry. In Institution. Institution. Examples are Mali High School Cadets, Cadets are Flirtations, and Stars and Stripes Forever. What did Jelly Roll Morton do to Sousa's marches, and how did this affect the New Orleans sound? He changed the brass bands to sound like his own music. Um, slide 10, Connections, New Orleans. Instruments from military brass bands ended up in the hands of ex-slaves and the first jazz musicians. Polyphophic music? Oh, uh, military brass bands sometimes played polyphonic <coughs> music. Benny, Benny Bolden took the marching military bands as their own models. Uh, to Oliver, he was a member of many military brass bands. Cindy Betchett. Cindy Betchett performed in a brass band. And Sign 11 is a video, and the video is 52 seconds long, and it's also the ending.